Would you like to increase your average order value in your print-on-demand store, or better yet, even reduce your workload, but increase the amount of people that purchase in your print-on-demand store? If either of these things sound exciting and enticing to you, why don't you join us on our final video lesson in our Wix and Printful series about upselling and optimizing your print-on-demand store. <laughs> Now before we jump into the exciting content in this video, I need to ask you one more favor and that is to go ahead and click that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss a single upload on Wix Training Academy and you'll instantly plug into 31,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs. Okay guys, I know this is kind of a sad moment because we're jumping into the last one, but it should be exciting because this is an opportunity for you to fulfill and create the print-on-demand store of your dreams and create that life of freedom you've been looking for. So let's go ahead and jump into the content on our final Wix and Printful series video. The year is 2020 just like my vision, so I'm protecting them with these blue light glasses as we get ready to dive into our final video in our Wix and Printful series which is about Marketing 101, Part 3, Upselling and Optimizing. And by the end of this video, you will be provided with strategies to increase average order value and decrease cart abandonment. We're going to go through upselling strategies and the different upselling strategies available and then optimizing strategies. How do you already optimize the current traffic you have without adding any additional workload? So... I can't believe this is the end, but it is here. So I would kindly ask that you let me know at the end of this video in the comment section below how you enjoyed this Wix and Printful series overall. Did you find value from it? I want to hear it. Printful wants to hear it. And I hope you take this entire series as a blueprint to use for a successful print-on-demand store. All right. So upselling strategy. What are some ways that we can upsell our uh, current customers or new customers? There's a lot of ways to go about this. First and foremost, you can utilize external apps. So what I mean, what do I mean by external apps? You can use tools like Optin Monster or some of the Wix in-house lead capture email list building apps. Why does that matter? Well, because you can build a list and then you can sell products into it or upsell products into it or upsell after they purchase if you build a list you can use apps like you can use apps that will allow you at the end of checkout to create a section in that checkout with some additional products maybe complementary products or additional products that may be useful and valuable to that in particular consumer so utilizing external apps is such a powerful way to increase upsells. In addition to that, at the bottom of product pages, add a related products section with the ability for people to add it to their cart right then and there. Why? Because if they're already searching and they're on the product page of one product, if you add a related product section, they're likely going to go ahead and browse that section and see what some of those related products may be and why they should potentially be purchasing them with that product because it's related. So why is that? And human curiosity kicks into play there. So having a related product section, having product pop-ups. So whether that's right when someone lands on your site after a few seconds, having a pop-up with an additional um, you know, upsell offer, or after someone adds something to their cart upon the addition of the cart, having a pop-up, hey, we noticed you just got this, maybe this would be useful as well. So having a product pop-up and then they can add it to the cart straight from the pop-up, that's a powerful tool as well. Um, utilizing coupons. I know this is very simple, but you can do like a, a buy one, get one 50% off as long as there's potential, as long as there's margin there and you're not going to go into negatives for offering something like this, you can offer coupons 
and then you're upselling you're getting an additional product sale involved with the initial product sale so that's a powerful position and then chatbots wow chatbots can be an incredible tool to use in your e-commerce store not only can they take a conversation live with a person without you even having to be live and offer them and recommend them products but they can recommend them additional products they can say yeah here this product might be helpful and that person might be able to say thanks and then the chatbot can come in and say this product may be a good complimentary addition to it and then a person can just add it to the cart straight from the chatbot think about how impactful that could be to upselling additional products so finding tools like chatbots there's tons of different chatbot software out there I suggest you go do your research on it to figure out which one is best for you. And then lastly, cross-selling. So what cross-selling is, is it's taking one product and then utilizing an upsell technique that we just listed above, but utilizing a complementary product, kind of like peanut butter and then the related products being jelly, bread, maybe plastic silverware if you're in college like me and you're using plastic um, utensils to spread your peanut butter and your jelly on your bread. These would be examples of complementary cross-sell products. Likely when people are buying peanut butter, they're much more likely to buy jelly because peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And if they're likely to buy peanut butter and jelly, they're going to need the bread to put it on. So peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then they're going to need to get that peanut butter and jelly on the bread somehow. So plastic utensils. This is an example of a cross-sell technique. So that is your upselling strategy. Now let's move into our final strategy, which is an A to Z optimization strategy. Now bear with me. I'm going to go through these. I know it seems like a lot, but this whole list was provided from Printful, and they've got an entire blog post article with much more in-depth explanations for each one of these A to Z optimization strategies. If you'd like to check that out, I'll throw a link in the description below. But... Let's first define what I mean by optimization strategy. This means optimizing your current traffic, the amount of people you're currently having, optimizing them, uh, increasing your conversion rate, increasing your average order value without adding additional workload to yourself, without having to go find more traffic, without having to go put out another paid advertising campaign. Let's just optimize the traffic we already have. So here's some ways to do that. Your A is to alt tags on images. Make sure you put alt tags on your images. You can do this in Wix. It'll help rank you in Google. B is badges. Make sure you've got like a, you know, new product badge or free shipping badge or 30% off badge. As humans, we've got very short attention spans. So we don't want to have to go dig and read. We want it to be listed right there, clear and clear as day. Yeah, new product or free shipping so having badges c customer photos people are much more likely to purchase if they go to your instagram and they see customers have posted photos and tagged you or they're on your website and they see a whole bunch of photos from your customers with your product so utilizing that d details make sure you have the details correct make sure you're not missing grammar mistakes make sure you haven't missed a big headline Make sure the details are accurate. Make sure you don't mislead people with information. Uh, your E is email subscription pop-up. We've talked about this in free marketing and paid marketing techniques. Building an email list. So having a pop-up whenever they hit your website to opt in to be on your email list. Utilizing that and then sending building relationships with that email list. F, Facebook retargeting. So we talked about Facebook advertising in the last video, but utilizing Facebook retargeting is so powerful. And what that means is people will click on an ad, but maybe they didn't purchase the first time they clicked on an ad. So then Facebook will start running consistent ads from your store to that person. So it just keeps them in your memory because most people, it takes multiple touches for them to actually go ahead and take action and purchase on something. G is Google Analytics. Get Google Analytics on your print-on-demand store so you can track how long people are on your page, where they're coming from, which search terms they're using to get there, the demographics of your traffic. Use Google Analytics. H is high-quality product images. Take time to capture quality product images. We talked about this. We talked about how important it is to have those quality images. It enhances a person's trust to purchase that product. 
I is increase your page load speed. Maybe use JPEG files instead of PNG files. Find ways to minimize the amount of heavy content on a page. Use lighter fonts instead of bolder fonts. J, juicy product descriptions. Create product descriptions that sell. Use stories, stories sell. Explain what the product does. Don't leave out the details. Make sure people understand what that product is all about. And like I said, use stories, stories sell. K, K, keyword optimized headlines. Make sure you do keyword research so that way when you create a product or you create an article in your print on demand store or on your blog on your print on demand store, you use keyword optimized headlines so that way it ranks better in Google and you'll get more exposure and more traffic. Use landing pages. L is landing pages. So maybe run an ad campaign, not to your full website, but to a particular hyper-focused landing page for one product and create copy and images and videos and testimonials on that one landing page about one product. They work and remove any navigation. Keep the landing pages simple. Don't overcomplicate them. Don't put a whole bunch of bells and whistles on landing pages. Have one call to action, which is to purchase that product and don't give any navigation anywhere else. One direct clean landing page. M is meta descriptions. So making sure using your SEO settings, that all of your meta tags and meta descriptions are optimized so you can continue to rank better on Google. N is no hidden fees, okay? No hidden fees. So don't tell somebody, you know, this is the product price and then all of a sudden they get to check out and it's like $20 for shipping and a $5 handling fee and X, Y, and Z. People don't like that. That's when they abandon cart. That's when they drop ship and they're like, whoop, nope, I'm out of here. I was not expecting all of these fees. So make sure that you're very transparent if there are fees. It's okay if there are, but be clear and transparent about it so people know that before they get to checkout. Offer order confirmation emails, okay? So make sure that you are confirming after an order has been placed with that customer so they can track their product, track the shipment, and they know that the order has been received. So it gives them that sense of confidence and trust. And just those little things will get them to come back and purchase again. Utilize product recommendations, show related products, offer recommendations on products, build that personal relationship. People like to see what products you recommend, what products based off of their interests that your store recommends them to purchase. They like those kind of things. Uh, use reputable trust marks. You know, Show PayPal that you accept PayPal, that you accept all major credit cards, um, that you are SSL verified, that you're PCI compliant. These are things that help build trust. Use scarcity as a tool. People don't want to lose out on an opportunity if there's only 10 exclusive Um, quantities available for this one product. There's only 10 of them being sold. People want to get their hands on it. They want to be one of those 10 peoples. Use, you know, time as a form of scarcity. This offer expires in 48 hours, so don't miss out on it. People don't want to miss out on that if afterwards they're going to have to pay full price or whatever that looks like for you. So utilize scarcity. Uh, Title tags. Make sure you have strong product title tags. Um, So this is also used for Google, right? So you're optimizing your title tags. This can all be accomplished within Wix. You, user reviews. This is so important. If people get to your print on demand store and they don't see any reviews from other people, it's crazy how they're automatically gonna be a little bit turned off and concerned. For instance, I was just at an extremely impactful and powerful mastermind, uh, entrepreneurial mastermind this weekend. And I was with a a colleague of mine that does three and a half million dollars in sales with his print on demand store. And he was telling me the power of reviews, how in the past year he was able to increase his reviews from, I believe it was 50 or 100 reviews to 300 plus reviews on all of his in-house gym equipment that he sells on his store, right? And so he said that those reviews impacted the amount of people that purchased on his site. He saw his conversion rate jump up when more reviews started getting added from people. So encourage user reviews, send emails after people have purchased their product and ask for a review or send have an automated software that will automatically send out emails or requests for people to leave reviews. 
This is so powerful as humans. We're social. We like to see that other people have trusted a product. Uh, utilize videos on product pages. There's no written rule that says you can only use pictures. Utilize product videos. Get in front of the camera. It builds that trust. It builds that personal relationship. Have your users send in videos of them using the product. Create videos about how the product is made, why it's made, what your brand is all about, what do you stand for. Utilize these things. I know as crazy as it sounds, but W is white space. Don't create a super complex, scattered, um, you know, a lot going on type of website. Keep a clean design. Put elements only where they need to go. Don't overcomplicate them. Simplify them and utilize the power of white space. Extra perks. Utilize extra perks. And this can technically be X as extra, but I just put the E because it's the proper way to spell it. But use extra perks. So upselling or if you purchase this product, buy one, get one free or buy one, get 50% off. These are examples of extra perks. Loyalty programs. You know, if you get involved in the loyalty program, after you purchase an X amount of products, you'll get this one free or you'll get a percentage off. So use extra perks to incentivize optimization and purchasing. Why? Your brand personality. People are there just as much for the products as they are you and your brand. They like you and your brand. That's why they're there. So let your brand personality shine, whether that's through design, whether it's an about page, whether it's a video, whether it's a combination of all of those things. Let your brand personality shine. And then finally, Z is Zoom. Allow people to just hover over a product and use a zoom function so that way they can get a quick view chart. So essentially when they zoom over, they'll get a quick view and they'll get a brief glance of being able to see the description, some of the reviews, being able to add to cart, the price, the images. And a zoom function actually increases the amount of conversions you get with sales. So utilize that functionality. All right, guys, that was our A to Z optimization strategy. I want to thank you so much for taking your time to be invested into this Wix and Printful series. It truly has been remarkable. I've received some amazing feedback. Printful is so happy to hear a lot of this feedback and that it's been helpful. So if you've enjoyed this series, do me a favor, drop a like down on the video below and comment below this video, what your favorite part of this Wix and Printful series was, which video out of the series was most helpful, and would you like to see a Q&A of both me and Printful answering your questions live? If that's something you'd be interested, let me know in the comments below as well, because that will determine whether we do a live Q&A together with Printful, allowing you to ask your questions that you would like to ask. But thank you so, so very much for this remarkable series. It was a pleasure. Make sure to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video so you never miss any content here on Wix Training Academy and you'll instantly plug in at 31,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs. We've got a whole bunch of new content coming for the channel, so stay tuned here because it's going to be an exciting month of February, but for now, I hope you enjoyed kicking off your new year with a new career and launching your first or Maybe your additional print-on-demand store. And I wish you a successful ride and journey with this print-on-demand store. And I understand entrepreneurship, so I'm here for you. And you're going to see a whole lot more of that content here on the channel. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you on our next video.